This is a video of my mobile home transport truck and some of the little innovative things that I've been working on to make my life easier on the road. The newest, most recent thing that I put together is this hitch right here, which I just finished today, which is my inspiration for this video. Uh, when I put this on, it brings the ball six inches in farther towards the rear end, six and a half inches, really. This top piece is an inch thick. This is three eighths. This is just on here for the original hitch to rest on because it hits it right out at the edge here. This is five eighths. This bottom piece that the balls hook to is an inch. This is five eighths. And I'll set this camera up and show you how I put it on. This pin goes in here so that I have down pressure. And this pin goes right through this sucker down here. Spin it in while we travel. As you can see, that's quite a lot further in there. Now whoever mounted the hitch on this truck mounted it quite a long ways back from the rear wheel, about six inches farther back than they really needed to. They did a fine job other than that, but it's pretty far back. When you get a big house on here, front tires won't stay on the ground. So I'm hoping this helps. Next thing I'm gonna show you, I've had some houses where the uh, latch on the hitch was busted, old junkers. Just what you want to do is waste time figuring out what you're going to do about that. So I made this. Sit that on there. Sit it right on top of the hitch. The newer hitches already have a piece here, but I had to weld one on this. That pins in there. That pins in there. You just crank this down. So it sits lightly on top of the uh, hitch or just above it so it can't pop off. And you can also use it when you're moving up the pistol hitch ring. You just crank everything down. The other ring can't pop off either. Uh, I'm going to show the operation of the hitch for people who haven't seen one of these hitches operate. Oops, first thing I got to do is take this pin out. Got this hole here. This is the original factory hole. You can't get it in. So I can bring my ball up so I'm 35 inches to the top of there with my new ball. The old ball went a little higher than that, but for the most part, 35 inches is plenty high. The hitch slides side to side about 32 inches, I believe. They come straight out the back two feet. You can see here, I notched this wire into the body. That goes to uh, 
my brake breakaway switch or taillight wires if you have a wired trailer with wired taillights. So I can swing the hitch back and forth and it doesn't rip the wires off. Uh, except for I use a wireless taillight so I don't need it for that. But I do use it, the power out of there for my brake switch which I'll show you next. Uh, but anyway, hitch comes out two feet. Uh, I can actually throw a six by six on the ground or two, lift the ass into the truck off the ground, push myself out of a hole, or lift the rear wheels off the ground and swing the hitch sideways and swing the, the wheels uh, out of the hole, or just put something under the wheels or any old thing you like. It's pretty handy. I wouldn't want to move houses without it. Alright, there it is, looks like it would break right off, but it won't. <laughs> this is my brake switch, I'm falling over here, uh, I got this here threaded rod so you can crank it right in, hook this over the frame and then crank it right in so you can clamp it on the frame. Makes things quick and easy. No bungee cords, no ratchet straps, no bullshit. Uh, and then I've got this lever here. That's uh, hooked to a air cylinder on the clutch pedal. You pull that down, clutch pedal goes in, and you can operate the PTO. Left runs the cable out of the winch, right runs it back into the winch, put the, cape, put the uh, clutch pedal back in, we'll start pulling. On the back of the truck here, I've got this big old winch, which I'm not sure what size it is, but big enough. It will pull anything you want to hook it to. Uh, and that red tray beside it goes underneath the hitch. And the, uh, the jack goes down in that pipe, you can see. And you can slide a house right along on that plate. Pull it right to you. Got a welder on the truck. It's one of these uh, Hobart 145 DC welders. Uh, it's no monster, but it welds mobile home frame just fine. We got these pipes on here. One of them's got my tail light in it. The other one's got push poles. It's just pieces of conduit and iron bars, level. So I can uh, push telephone lines up. Power line, whatever. Got controls for the hitch inside, as long as the, as well as the mirrors. Hitches, uh, the mirrors go out about 18 feet wingspan. The power heads on them. So excuse my dirty window and truck. Just got back from the house not that long ago. Haven't hosed her down yet. I guess that's all I've got for you today. Thanks for watching.